Alright, so imagine the periodic table is your Clash Royale deck, but instead of cards, you've got elements. Every element is like a troop. The atom is the troop itself. The nucleus? Yeah, that's your king tower. It holds all the power. Inside are the protons and neutrons. They are your heavy hitters. And the electrons? They're like wall breakers running around the arena, fast, full of energy, and always on the move. Now, the atomic number is your card's level. Hydrogen has got one proton. That's level 1. Helium's got 2, level 2. The more protons you've got, the stronger and heavier the element becomes. Next up, the table layout. Think of each row as an arena level. Every time you climb, your atom unlocks new energy level for its electrons. And those columns? Those are your card families. Elements in the same group share the same playstyle, because they've got the same number of valence electrons. Metals? Yeah, they're your tanks. Strong, shiny, and great conductors of energy. Nonmetals? They're like spells. Light, reactive, and ready to shake things up. Metalloids? They're hybrids. Part tank, part spell, unpredictable, and super useful in a chemistry arena. So yeah, the periodic table is like your ultimate Clash Royale deck. Every element plays a role in the battle of chemistry. Now, head to the comments, ask your questions, or start a discussion. Or tell me which topic I should unlock next. See you in the next match.